to be spending the night in the world's most expensive treehouse. The owner emailed us and asked if we wanted to stay the night in what's literally the most expensive treehouse in the world and is worth over $1.6 million. So of course we said yes. We wanted to make this overnight as fun as possible. So we're going to get a few supplies on our way up and the guys and I came up with 10 things we have to check off a list before we leave tomorrow. So we have a special occasion happening tonight. We got to dress for the occasion. We're going to the world's most expensive treehouse. Hey, you're crazy, man. Get, put the shoe on. Seriously, if you want to come to the treehouse, by all means, we'll be there all night. I'm not going there. When we show John pictures. He's getting off work early. Trust me. Okay. Oh, jeez. Hello. <laughs> you are free tonight. Give me a call. Justin, thank you, buddy. We found out that not even a mile from the treehouse is a Sasquatch outpost owned by professional Sasquatch hunter Jim Myers. Jim claims this is the home of Sasquatch, so we had to stop by and get some gear for ourselves to hunt for Bigfoot later tonight. I didn't even know this existed, but we just made it to the Sasquatch outpost. Apparently Sasquatch lives here. This is actually pretty dope in here. Sasquatch merch. All right, where's the evidence? Where's the museum with the evidence? Sasquatch sightings 2021. This is like legit. I glow. <laughs> I, Jim, film Sasquatch. Where is Jim? Are you Jim? I am. <gasps> no way. We are pulling up to the treehouse right now. We got a gate to the treehouse. Well, yeah, it's the most expensive treehouse. Let's go inside. Keep in mind, this treehouse is worth over 1.6 million. That's crazy. Guys, no way. There's a welcome thing. Welcome, more J. Stew. Justin, Andrew, and crew. Them right there, this is for them. We are so excited to host you all at the said treehouse. Please make yourselves at home and enjoy your time together at the world's most luxurious and expensive treehouse. Yeah, yeah! Oh my goodness. I just found this remote. Dude, flame on. Flame on! Oh, dude, now this is luxury. Now we can have great deep personal conversation. Oh no. So throughout the night, we have a list of 10 things that we have to complete while we're at this insane tree house. You guys have got to try this bacon cheddar scallion bread. I mean, come on. Mm. At what Airbnb do you get these kind of snacks? You don't, that's what makes it so great. This cookie the company, cookies? they oh, left no. all this. For us. This looks so cool, it's an adventure cake. We found a fridge of beverages. It comes with lattes. Are you guys ready to see the views from this tree house? Holy smoke. Whoa. Just take it in. This, this is, nuts. is insane. Imagine if every day this was your view at night. Wouldn't leave. Oh. Good night. We have a top of the line espresso machine. Cheers. Since we have this epic deck out here, we're gonna see how far we can throw a paper airplane. Hopefully 300 feet. Who's gonna go get it? Hold those back. The stealth bomber. Great. You're gonna pay the consequences. Okay, ready? Yep. Set. <laughs> <laughs> Who made this plane? Bro. New design. I double folded it so it's thicker. This is going straight down. Straight down? This one feels better. What'd I say, fellas? One more piece of paper. We're back with a brand new paper airplane design. Ready? That had good flight for a while. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. It actually looks pretty steep. Can you get the other one? Why? We're in a predicament. There's three of us and two bedrooms. So one person has to sleep on the couch. First one out gets couch. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. Oh! <laughs> Winner gets that better. Rock, paper, paper scissors, shoot. shoot. Yeah! Andrew gets the king master suite. It feels good to be master of the house. No matter where you sleep, you still get views of the entire region. I don't think any of us lost, really. No. Everywhere you sit, you got views on views on views. If you sit here and you're laying down, why would you need a TV? We've been mm -hmm. taking so many pictures, guys. Can't wait to post Instagram. Yeah, you guys should follow us all on Instagram. Fun fact, guys, like probably the rest of you, I have never used a bidet in my life. I just walk in front of the toilet, it turns on and lets out a mist. Guys, this isn't weird. I'm giving my honest reactions. The toilet seat itself is like hot. So the toilet obviously has toilet paper next to it, but it also comes with this remote. Not sure which button to push, but take a look. There's a dryer on this thing. <laughs> Let's just try a button. Oh, oh gosh. 
stop. Oh my god! <laughs> is everything okay in there? I don't know, man. When does it stop? The freaking dryer just turned off. No. Weird. No, that's not, that's not the power button for the thing. That's the remote. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> You don't turn off the controller. I don't know, there's that no is, buttons anywhere. There. Where's the turn off button? Where? <laughs> it almost cut me. <laughs> it's trying to take off. Jeez. Where is the power off button? It's just to land it. The power off, power off is on this. Button. No, where's the land button? It's this button. I pushed that button. Well, I too have never used a bidet, so I'm gonna try out this. Pardon? <laughs> the heated seat is a very nice touch. I think I'm ready for a rinse out, whatever that means. What's happening? Ah! What the? No. It's so uncomfortable. No, no. Okay, it has to stop, right? Where's the off button? I'm being serious. Guys, it's been about five minutes and I can't get this thing to stop. Ah, what's going on? Oh, it's worse. I just turned up like the intensity. Where's like the stop button? Well, I finally just stood up and it turned off. How'd you get it to stop? I pushed the same button. I was just in there for like at least 10 minutes just being sprayed down. <laughs> Our very special event is happening right now. What is going on in here? It's time to cook some amazing food for you guys. Yeah! Our very own treehouse chef, five star chef. We got outfits just for this occasion. Instagram's gonna have a new top model soon. Check out our Instagram if you wanna see crazy epic pics. It's not every day you get to eat a five star meal from a five-star chef in a five-star treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> Super pumped about this. Some beautiful Italian caviar. Ooh, Cheers, guys. guys. I don't think I've ever had caviar before. Kind of tastes like the ocean. Kind of sweet and salty and wonderful. I'm excited to try this. I'm not gonna lie, I normally do not eat raw fish, but genuinely, not bad. Awesome. Not something you eat every day, do you? Mm -mm. Sweetbreads, a thalamus gland of a cow. What is a thalamus gland? <laughs> Ah, yeah. never had that before either. Ear glands. Oh yeah. There's so many different flavors. It's like a whirlwind of emotion. The sauce is really good. Oh yeah. I've been working on this pork belly recipe for years and years. That is fantastic. Good night. <laughs> Richard, you've truly outdone yourself. Keep it up. <laughs> We are highly anticipating the main course here. Steak, mashed potatoes, and a really, really flavorful sauce. Stop. No, no don't. You don't want to stop at this fish. This is insane. This dessert is one of my favorites. Heesh kebab. Super tasty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish I had this for everyday dessert. It's time to check that off of our list. John never called me, which was sad because we were looking forward to him joining us, but maybe in another life, I guess. You're crazy, man. But it's time to change and head down to the relaxation station. You guys haven't seen that part of this treehouse yet, and let me tell you, it is next level. Oh, wow. Welcome to the relaxation deck. Uh, check it out. We have a massive sauna. Massive? Which... Ow! Oh, wow! <laughs> We're gonna get this warmed up, jump in there, then straight to the hot tub and fire pit. Well, start the fire pit now, just so we have vibes constantly. Yep. It's time for treehouse fire pit. Ready? Oh, oh, oh bro, the vibe. Oh, I love the vibes. You promise this would make some steam? Look at the window. Woo! Good night, Nelson. Oh, the camera's steaming up. Time to go hot tubbing in a treehouse. Has this ever been done before? This hot tub is the best treehouse hot tub I've ever been in. Oh, oh my. my. Ow. He just stubbed his toe it. Um, that was the error in my swim shorts. Activate bubbles. Activate bubbles. You need full power. Oh, yes. Yes. We got a waterfall right here. This is a lie. Oh, orange. What? <laughs> this is awesome. I guess we could check this off the list. Doing a hot tub in a treehouse. We've got the spotting scope out. As you can see, we're searching for Bigfoot because, yeah. So we've been spying out here, but it's getting kind of dark. And you're blinding the light in my face. Oh, I heard Bigfoot is active in the mornings. Really? There's no way you're gonna be able to see anything out here. We had no luck finding Sasquatch, but that's not gonna be the end of our hunt. 
Blake believes Sasquatch is real, and he wants to prove that to us. So if this gets 100,000 likes, we will bring Blake and hire a professional Sasquatch hunter, Jim Myers, and vlog our mission to finding Sasquatch. It's time to FaceTime a YouTuber to get a challenge. It's 11.15, so let's see if they're up. Hey! No way, it's Beam. Uh, okay, so my challenge for you, I see a light above your head. I want you to unscrew the light bulb without using a ladder because the ceiling looks really tall. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> we'll give it a try and see what happens. Good luck. <laughs> How the heck are we gonna unscrew a light bulb up there? Without a ladder. Uh, there's no way. You could, I weigh about a buck 65, man. It doesn't really matter if I'm standing on chairs on the floor. It doesn't make you any less heavy. Stand onto shoulders and use the wall as balance. I'm nervous, dude. If I fall, you're fine. Dude. Perfect. Oh gosh, I'm so scared. Woo. Oh, 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 oh. Are you close? Oh, this light bulb doesn't even unscrew. Wait, you can touch it? Yes. Yes. That counts. Oh, that no. counts. Give me down. Left foot down. Good. Left. Put your left foot down. <laughs> oh. Hey, we made it to the light bulb, but beam, these light bulbs don't rotate. All right, check that one off the list, Drew. How can we never say Matt? Say my name. Who do we say? Editor, check that off the list. Um, Jerickson Lamar didn't show up for work. Uh, I wanted to see if you guys wanted me to give him a write up or what I should do about that. Lamar, who's that? He's the new guy we just hired. He usually does like the, the midnight shifts and he didn't show up so I had to fill the position. Oh, okay. What should I do? Call corporate or? Yeah, I give you all my manual numbers. You gotta talk for her and then he left. I don't know too. <laughs> okay. Thank you, boss. All right, thank you, boss. We're gonna get to the bottom of this Lamar situation. No one understands the reference at all. Prank call, check it off the list. Every kid's dream is to play hide and seek in a massive, expensive tree house. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna count to 60. We're going outside. You can't go outside because we're in a tree house. One, two, three, eight. 59, 60. Ready or not, I heard a sound. What's that sound over there? Yeah, these guys are not good at hide and seek. Hmm. Wow, Johnny. <laughs> what is that? I can't even breathe. He's sprinting so hard. You sprinted too. from the kitchen to here and you can't breathe? I'm sprinting all over the place. There's nowhere to hide in this tree house. <laughs> now I'm gonna find Caleb. Good night. The toilet just scared the crap out of me. Caleb's gotta be in this closet. What the heck? You probably locked him in here, didn't you? What's no. the code? I have no idea what the code is. Oh. How'd you just find out what the code is? <laughs> <laughs> Look, this place isn't that big. What the heck? Is there like a secret spot in the house that I don't know about? Apparently. Come on. <laughs> I can't be that hard. <laughs> Are you outside? You turn! <laughs> Oh, that's why you were helping him get up there. That's why you're out of breath. <laughs> well, you won. Maybe here's the problem. You can't get down. <laughs> no, <I> can't. <laughs> He's got to sleep up there. <laughs> no. You can get down if you use this as a ledge to stand up. I can jump the bed. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah. Right. Right. Bonk your head on the, the ceiling. Head will clap. <laughs> Keep in mind, Caleb is nervous about heights. Yeah, and I'm short. Oh, it's his nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I hate your shoulders. And your left shoulder. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Huh? Squat. Oh. <laughs> what do I do? Drop. Help. Drop. Help. 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 I got scared. That was hide and seek. Check it off the list. I still haven't used the bidet. I'm gonna test it out, see if it works. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> This is really the most uncomfortable experience I've ever had, especially being on camera. When does it stop? Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's not stopping. There's a dryer? This is so weird. I can't film this anymore. I'm gonna test out this bed, and then it's straight back to Sasquatch searching. Stay tuned. It's time to 
test the beds for eight hours. I'll let you guys know what I think. Ha! Good night from the treehouse. Good morning, literally. We got the scope set up, seeing if we can spot Sasquatch. We're gonna find something. We got a contraption for this thing that is gonna make this next level. If he's out there, we'll get him on video. Enhance. <gasps> what is that? Do you see something? There's something in the field. We need Jim. I literally know nothing about Sasquatch, so is he most seen during the day, night? Where do we look? What? He's probably out more at night. It's way too late in the morning. I don't think we're gonna see him. Oh, oh nice. darn it! Jackson! Another one of our challenges. Build a gaming blanket fort. <laughs> it took us five minutes, pal. Whoa. It is now a gaming fort. Are we gonna open it or? No. Oh. Wow. I feel like I'm living out my childhood dream at the ripe age of 27. We're gonna leave the treehouse a very nice note. Dear Babwa. If you wanna read it, you gotta come here and stay. It's time to explore under the treehouse. What? This is a cool place you can make a fort if you wanted. You could see below where your feet are. We're high up now. We found one of the coolest secret spots in the treehouse. I give this place a five star rating. I'll have what he's happy. This was definitely one of the best overnights we've ever done. Thanks for watching.